the lineup for Heat 9, Gate 1 in blue, John S. Gildson. Gate 2, yellow and black, Alf Busk. Gate 3 in red, Ari Koppenen. And Gate 4 in white, Tommy Knudsen. And so this Brummies pairing yet to uh, achieve a heat advantage. In fact, only one heat advantage to the Brummies so far, but only two points down after eight heats. Up against Knudsen and Busk. Well, Knudsen, three points so far. And Alf Busk, seven paid eight. Busk replacing Charlie McKinnon in this one. So across the gate, a Skildson, Busk, Koppenen, and Knudsen. And it's the B's first and second and a tussle there between Alf Busk and Jonas Skildson with the Dane coming off worst. In fact, two Danes in that incident. Jonas Skildson comes off onto the track. And the referee's decision there is that Jonas Skildson will not be taking part in the rerun of Heat 9. A controversial decision there. It looked like uh, six and one half dozen of the other. Many referees would have restarted that race with all four riders. But there's Skildson falling foul of the referee here. Unhurt but must be disappointed with that decision. Well, that gives the Bees a very strong position for this rerun in Heat 9. Two riders out against Ari Koppenen. And the crowd not exactly too happy about that decision. Well, there in view you see the veteran Kiwi, Bruce Cribb, down on the bottom left-hand corner of your picture, talking to Ari Koppenen. Bruce, as I've said before, riding now for, at number one for the Berwick Bandits. He's been around a good few years, since the mid-60s, when he came over to this country to ride for the Pool Pirates. Known in the early days as Kiwi Crib, part Maori. And now, backing up the Brummies' cause tonight. And there you see the man in blue, Jonas Gildson, being advised by the Birmingham promoter. There in the blue rally jacket, Dan McCormick, that his place in Heat 9 is gone. And so three riders only, and Coventry must surely have the advantage now in Heat 9. Two points to the good already, and they'll be looking to stretch their lead with only four heats remaining. And so Ari Koppenen, in red, charged with the duty of winning his first race tonight. Otherwise the Brummies will slip further behind. Yellow and black. Busk, Red, Koppenen, White, Knudsen. And the Bees taking full advantage of uh, the Brummies' lack of riders in this one. Busk back in third, sorry, Koppenen back in third. Koppenen though trying the outside line, finding the grip, finding the dirt on the outside line, thrown out by the riders on the inside, gives, giving him the extra speed. And on that second turn, just powering his way past Alf Busk. And so a 5-1 is reduced to a 4-2. Still good news for the Bees, though. Still will only be a four-point lead. That's the most there will have been between the two sides so far this evening. Not a lot to, not a lot between the two teams at all. And I'm sure the Bees will be very happy to be four points up with four to go. One lap remaining. Knudsen leads. Coppen and second. Third Alf Busk. And any fitness doubts over Tommy Knudsen being dispelled now. Three points from his first two rides and doubling that score now with a win in Heat 9. Knudsen wins. Second Koppenen. Third Busk. No fourth finisher. A 4-2 to the Bees in Heat 9. And that's their fourth 4-2 of the evening. It opens the scores now to Birmingham 25, Coventry 29.